And again, one of the great principles in the art and science of biblical interpretation is that you are always to interpret Scripture in light of Scripture. And if you read Matthew chapter 24 and you interpret it in light of Scripture, you see very clearly that Jesus Christ is not talking about the end of the world. He's talking about the time in which Jerusalem and the temple are going to be destroyed. In fact, he uses the language of the Old Testament prophets, and he is a greater prophet than them all. And he applies that language to the destruction of Jerusalem and the temple and says that it is going to happen within a generation. So when Jesus says no one knows about that day or hour, he's not talking about the end of the world, although that would equally apply to the end of the world. That's not what he's talking about. He is talking about the time in which Jerusalem will be destroyed, but he also contextualizes this with a prophecy. If you go a few verses upward, what he says prior to this is that that this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have been fulfilled. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. So Jesus is predicting that within a generation, the temple is going to be destroyed. That is the whole context of Matthew 24. In fact, he has said that the temple is going to be destroyed, and the disciples are so upset by what he says, they encounter him privately thereafter, and they say, well, when is this going to happen? And what will be the sign of your coming in judgment? And what will be the end of the age of sacrifice? And then Jesus tells them the signs that will precede all of these happenings when the very center of their sociological and spiritual identity will, in fact, be destroyed.